Welcome to another episode of Goal Setting Mondays with the Loan Signing System, which has turned more into one-on-one -on -one coaching, which turned into Inspirational Mondays, which has turned to Mark Help Me With My Business Monday. But I am so happy that I'm here to bring you on right now to help you build your signing agent business. If this is the very first time you are joining us live, we are live on Instagram every single Monday at 12 uh, p.m. Pacific. So what I want you to do is hit that little add camera button right here if you're watching this live. Underneath my finger is that add camera button. Jump on. Girl, how are you doing? Say your name. Say where you're from. Okay, my name's Amy. I'm from the Washington, D.C. area. Um, oh. I'm in the middle of my training right now, getting ready to kind of get the ball rolling, get some comfortable, like... I'm a notary already, but I just don't know enough about the documents and really want to mm -hmm. be my clients through smoothly. Um, I've been working on my business cards and my website and my Facebook and just trying to get the back end set up while yeah. I'm in the middle of learning the process and getting everything just so when okay. I'm ready to so go. So th this oh. is goal setting Mondays. Let's talk about some specific goals you have. You know, here's what I do want to coach you on real quick, okay? You know, I heard a signing agent who is working through the process of the course, working through the process of learning. But then I also heard a signing agent who's working on their website and their business cards. I want you to make sure that you are productive and not busy. Okay. okay. With the mo your main goal right now is to get through the learning curve, girl. The learning curve is going to make you money, not the business cards, right? So I want you to get the definitions down. So, you know, as your coach, what I would tell you is really focus on setting a couple hours a day, every day on the course itself. A lot of new signing agents try to spend like six hours a day on it. I'm like, dude, you cannot remember all that information. So that's right. So try to cut everything into like bite-sized digestible pieces. I think about two to three hour max a day is what you should be spending on it. Um, but really focus on doing the definitions, the course. And then when you're done with that, do mock signings. Do a ton of mock signings with your husband, boyfriend, son, daughter, best friend. And remember, if your son, brother, whoever you're doing mock signings with, can't get what you're explaining in one or two sentences, then you just got to kind of go back to the drawing table, figure out a new way to summarize that. Um, remember, we're not, we're not here to be the lender or realtor, but we should be able to give a very brief description. And if you can give that to somebody, you know, that you're doing a mock signing with, you're going to crush it when you're in front of a live borrower. Okay. Um, I'm excited for you, man. Let me, I'm going to end with this before I let you jump back in is make sure you're in the DMV group. We have a lot of successful DC, Maryland, uh, Virginia people, you know, we have a lot of people try commissioned. So, you know, making money in all three areas and there's money to be made. So just make sure you're networking with your fellow LSS students inside that private group. Yeah. Well, girl, I'm excited for you. I think huh? I'll double check, but I, I think I've already uh, been connected with it. So it's great. Okay, cool. So your goals for this week is to do two to three hours a day max. Make okay. sure you're staying busy. Uh, productive, not busy. And girl, let's get you up and running as soon as yeah. next week, okay? I'm excited. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you for being a student. I'll see you soon. Yep. All right, bye. Amazing. All the way from DC. Who's the next person to jump on? I'm going in first come, first serve um, to help you with your notary signing agent business. Steve, you're back. Uh, you're back. Let's go. Back. Okay, let's yeah. cut to the chase here. What are some goals for this week? Time blocking. I want to, everything I want to do is time blocking. For example, when I'm going out um, marketing, I'm going to time block in between. So, for example, like tomorrow, I don't have any appointments. So, I'm saying from 11 to 2, I'm, I'm hitting hitting different title companies. All right, That's let me jump in. Let me jump in. Here's the key to time blocking. Okay. Just what Tahib's talking about. Everyone always asks me, Mark, how do you run two businesses successfully? How do I have time to jump on Instagram live every day, every Monday? It's because I time block. What that means is 8 to 10 is dedicated to something. 10 to 12 is dedicated to something. 12 to 2 is dedicated to something. So, but here's the, what coaching I want to give you, T, is you, when time blocking is, is so vital in really being able to build a business, but you can't get distracted. So the key to time blocking for a signing agent is no matter if a $400 signing comes in via notification, you've already told yourself 10 to 12 is dedicated to this. Because if you cannot stay consistent to your time blocking, time blocking doesn't work. Does that make sense? So here's the second thing I want to coach you on with your time blocking. If you're time blocking marketing time, you should let data drive all your decisions. So what do I mean by that? You should look at the previous two or three weeks schedule. See what time in your day has the least amount of appointments. And then make sure you time block that time for your marketing. Does that make sense? Because yeah. what I don't want you to do is time block 12 to 2, 
and then you're missing out on three or four signings because you've time blocked 12 to 2. So maybe 8 to 10, based upon your business schedule from the previous two or three weeks, shows you that 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., I'm almost signing free. That's when you should time block things that cannot be moved, like marketing. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I don't want you to time block, you know, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Because the key to time blocking is literally blocking it and nothing else gets in the way. Does that make sense? Yeah, though. So, because a lot of people go, oh, I time block, but all of a sudden something more important comes in the picture and they don't do what they're time blocking for and now time blocking goes out the window. That makes sense? So mm -hmm. I'm proud of you for taking on the advice of time blocking, but just make sure that the data from your previous weeks, like take the past four weeks, look at what your schedule looked like, and then fit in your marketing time block based upon the least amount of signings you've had in that time. Does that make sense? Yes, it do. All right, man. Look, honestly, T, you are the definition of relentless, bro. I'm so Thank proud you. of you, man. Do not give up. Keep doing your process. Be patient. And, dude, I'll see you up, up there with the Vidal's out in Jersey, baby. Yeah, man. I'm waiting. How Usher? You sold the Usher lately? <laughs> My God. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you, Mark. All right, man. Keep in touch. I'll talk to you soon. Yes, sir. Um, I love that, you know, teams is integrating time blocking. It's the most effective way that busy people get things done. The key to time blocking is when you time block something, literally nothing else gets in that moment. And being a signing agent is kind of difficult because we have signings that pop up. But then if you're just going to stop doing whatever you time block for a signing, then you're not time blocking. So time blocking really comes down to being committed to whatever the two hours is that you are setting aside for. So maybe that's your accounting. Maybe it's invoices that haven't been paid on. Maybe it's marketing. There's so many different things you should be time blocking your day with. But the key is if you're going to give yourself a half hour to do it all to catch up on all your past invoices, that that half hour is literally only for catching up on past invoices. That means you turn your phone off, you turn your email off, you time block and you hit and you get on with the next of your day. So uh, that was a great, great call there. Um, let me go with re ra Rack Semi. Let me go there. All right. So uh, I only know you as your Instagram uh, name, man. Uh, I think it's Rack Semi. Jump on. Um, okay. So I, oh, yeah. oh, my man. What's going on? You tell me what's going on. Yeah. So I got my second signing today. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody drop him a clapping emoji. Yeah, what's going on? His second yeah. signing. My man, how's that feel? Yeah. It feel real good, you know what I'm saying? Um, Like we was talking on Instagram, he was telling me, like, uh, just make sure you trust the process. And, like, what my goals I want to have is, like, I want to be able to just, like, be able to regurgitate the documents and just know that you ain't got to think so hard <laughs> through, it, through everything. Feel me? Well, let, me just, let me just, let me jump in real quick, man. First off, when you're done with talking to me, go back, see all the comments. Everyone's giving you a round of applause, man. We oh, yeah. support each other. This is great. Yeah, for sure. um, okay, here's what I want to coach you on. Look, look, too many new signing agents expect to be the signing agent now that they're going to be at 100 closings. Right. Dude, don't, you're brand new. So right. just trust the process. Experience is your best teacher. Right. Do not get frustrated with yourself that you can't regurgitate the documents because you've only done it two times, right? right? So you're, you're getting yourself a little bit to a point where it's going to just kind of overwhelm you. You don't need to be overwhelmed. Right. Your second time at this, remember, you're not judged on how quick you can get through a signing. You are judged by making sure you don't make any errors. Does that make sense? So yeah. that's the only thing, dude, that you should be comparing yourself to. It's not, oh, I wish I can get through the signing quicker. Oh, I wish I can regurgitate it quicker or summarize it quicker. That's going to come with time. Okay. By the time you get to 10 signings, you're going to be better than your first signing. By the time right. you get to your 50th signing, it's going to be better than your 20th signing. Does that make sense? Yeah, so sure. make sure your head's in the right spot. Yeah. Don't worry about speed. Don't worry about like, oh, I, don't, I can't say it quick enough. Nine out of 10 times, the borrower doesn't realize it's your second time. Right. So control the signing. Be professional. If you don't know a document, just call who gave you the signing. You don't have to, I don't believe in faking it until you make it. Just be <laughs> you. Be real. Okay, if you need right. help, just call somebody. Too many new signing agents think that picking up the phone makes them look bad. That's not true. I own a signing service. I love it when a signing agent calls because right. I would rather them call than make a mistake and not call. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, dude, be easy on yourself, man. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah, I feel you. Okay, cool. So, what are some goals for this week? Talk to me. Um, so, basically, just study the um, some of, study some of the definitions, feel me? 
and um, really just sign up for more signing services from so right. I can get so, my so, so I, I hear very general goals. Right. right. Job to break that down. You say, oh, well, I want to sign more signing services. What's that mean, man? So my point I'm trying to coach you on is yeah. stop talking general, start talking more specific. That's what goal setting Mondays are for. So what I want you to say or do after this call is, you know, Mark, I'm going to commit to five signing services every single day. Okay. Does that make sense? See, but see yeah. I'm trying to teach you to go from this to this. Right. Yeah. Because everybody wants more business, but that's like saying, I want to be rich or I want to lose 50 pounds. Right. How are you going to get to the 50 pounds, right? Uh -huh. So what I want you to do is say, Mark, I want more business. Awesome. So set, dedicate five signing services a day that you're going to sign up with using the list in the course, right? Yeah. Then I, what I want you to do is dedicate yourself to calling up each signing service and introducing yourself with the script. Okay. We're okay. trying to build the business here, not win the lottery. Okay. Right. A lot of signing agents are like, well, Mark, I put my name in all the signing agents, all the signing services. I'm like, cool. Do they know your name? No. Well, are you here to make money or are you here to build a business? Right. Which one are you here for? Build a business. You know all what I'm right. saying? That's what, I, that's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. So the point is, is if you're here to build a business, then half the work is signing up. The other half is calling up and saying, here's why you should hire me. If you don't know what to say, I, I, I gave you a script. Just turn the right. script into your own words. Be a professional. Let them know why. Be confident. You're the man. You know you are the man. Okay? Yeah. But yeah. remember, if you're here to build a business, that's build it. All right? Yep. I, right? If you're here to make money, then you're going to make money. But if you're here to build a business, I need you to pick up the phone. I need you to turn big goals into small goals. Okay? okay. So every single day, dude, you got to be doing something today that made you better than you were yesterday. That's your goal. All right? right. You don't need to take macro steps or little micro steps, but every single day, you got to keep going at it. Keep going at it. People yep. don't know your name if you don't tell them. That's right. Are you the man? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I know you're the man. I need yeah, to I'm the man. Name. Yeah, let's get it. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Right, you're you. welcome. Five a day. Hit me up in the DMs. Let me know you're doing five a day, okay? And okay. then call them and be like, hey, here's why you should hire me. Remember, you want to go from a name and an algorithm to a real human. Does that make sense? Right, yeah. Most signing agents are just okay with being a name in an algorithm, a name in, in, in a piece of software. You're yeah. a loan signing system student. You pick up the phone, you let them know you believe in you, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, dude. Keep me, right, keep me close it. and keep doing what you're doing, baby. I definitely could. Thank you. All right, man. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Man, I love seeing people who are hungry. The, the more hungry you are, the more money you're going to make, the more impact you're going to have. Um, if you're joining for the very first time, my name is Mark Wills. I am the educator of the loan signing system, where I help signing agents make money. Um, oh, what up, girl? Hi. Okay. All right. Okay. First off, be safe. All right. Pull over. I see your name. I am. Look, and I your jacket. Pull over. Look, all right. Good. Okay. So tell everybody uh, your name, where you're from, and some goals for this week. Okay. So my name is Star. I am currently in Atlanta, Georgia. And my goals for the week, I am working through the course, right? So I have, like, my two- to three-hour blocks. I don't <laughs> overwhelm myself. Good. So I'm working through it. But I have a question for you. Yep. So I'm currently in Georgia. Yep. Within the next six to eight months, I'll be moving to California. Yes. I know that it is a process for California. So I'm kind of, like, hesitant about starting here in Atlanta because of yep. my mind. Like, I'm building a business, like you said, yeah. but I'm going to be leaving. So I'm like, I don't know if I should pursue it here or just wait because I know commissions don't, you know, yeah. lap over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Great question. I start now. Here's why. You want to walk into California with experience, okay. right? You, quote, unquote, want to get the cobwebs out in Georgia. So when you walk into California, your shoulders are back. You're like, yo, let's do this. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. So I don't want you walking into California, okay, Mark, I'm taking my first signing, and now there's a, you know, a 30, 45, 60-day ramp period when I literally want you to walk in and be like, Mark, I'm ready to go direct the moment I step feet in California. Okay. Does that make sense? That so, makes sense. Yeah, so I would definitely want you to get through the course, start trying to get some signings out of the way, because remember, experience is our best teacher. So by the time you arrive in California, I want that experience passed, um, and I want you being ready to just hit the ground running. Um, you know, I love what you said about time blocking, not getting overwhelmed. My heart's so full. You are listening to the coaching. Um, so the only other coaching I would give you is make sure you reach out to other signing agents. We got students in Atlanta, in Georgia. Kishana Morell is the first one that comes top of mind. She's doing great out there. Um, 
but don't be doing the business on your own. There's no need, okay? okay. Building a business is lonely, but it's only as lonely as you make it with the loan signing system. The reason I created the network was so you don't ever felt like you're by yourself. You got me, but I want you to feel connected people in. So even when you go to California, connect with the California students. Um, so make sure that you are also connecting with your Georgia students. Because remember, you know, every state's a little bit different. So you should be getting feedback from the Georgia students. What's different than it's a Mark's course, et cetera, et cetera. But that's why I create the community. So make sure you're not only studying two or three hours a day, but you're also making that networking um, opportunities within the, within the, within the family. Uh, and let me end with this. It's one of my biggest pet peeves is when students like make a post. I, I, I need a mentor. Anyone doubt to be my mentor? And I'm like, yo, you got to lead with some value, right? So, you know, <laughs> make sure you asking somebody like, hey, you know, can I take anybody out to coffee? Is, like, is there something that you can exchange value with? Does anybody else need an accountability partner? Would anybody else like to have talk about the ups and downs of the business? Try to lead with value and then you'll get someone more likely to be a mentor or more of an accountability partner. Because Mark, no one's answered my Facebook post. I need a mentor. And I'm like, because you're just asking instead of giving. So, you know, the way you build a business is the way you get a local mentor as well. You know what I mean? So, um, girl, I'm excited for you, especially, uh, you know, for this journey ahead. But, you know, jump in now and go get them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You oh, guys have a great You're so welcome. If you need anything, you know where to find me, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, all right. Who is next? I'm going in order. Uh, remember, you know, you know, real quickly to, to – to comment on that last coaching section, and I really want to speak, speak to loan signing system students, is you know this business can be lonely, right? Building a business could be lonely, but it doesn't have to be. So make sure you're networking with fellow students within the community, so you have someone you can talk about your good and bad days with, someone that you can be like, oh my gosh, can I bounce definitions off you? Someone that you can talk about marketing strategies in your local market. Do not go at this business by yourself. Connect with someone locally, bring value. We have signing agents literally in all 50 states. I'm talking Hawaii, Alaska, Florida, Maine, and in between. So make sure you're reaching out because this should not be a business you do by yourself. All right, who is next? So excited here. I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, girl, <laughs> there we go. Oh, my what? gosh, I can't believe it. I'm what here with up? you. What is up? So tell everybody your name because I need to know your name, where you're from, and let's get into it. Okay, my name is Kathy. Um, I'm a new student. I'm in Bradenton, Sarasota, Florida area. Love it. And I finally got to the point that I get to take the LSS exam. Boom. Love it. So I can't wait. I'm extremely excited. And after I take it, the next question is, do I keep moving forward because yes. I, you know, paid more or do I take yep. the NNA exam? Just do everything as it is in the course. So every module is in order that's supposed to be taken next. So whatever the module is right after the, uh, the exam, take it. Keep going through. You'll see where you set up the one-on-one -on -one with me. Um, but I'm excited you're here, girl. I'm excited. I can't wait. I needed this. This came at the right timing. It was just a fluke that I saw the advertisement yeah. for this. And literally, perfect timing. There is no, no such thing as a fluke, no such thing as accidents. Everything happens when it's supposed to happen. So let's talk about some goals, though. Okay, cool. So we got a goal of taking the exam today. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Cool. Today. What does the rest of our week look like as far as actual plans to get through the course? Because remember, Kathy, you know, you're starting your own business, okay? Yes. One of the hardest things for me to help you to get to that successful level is to stop thinking like an employee, start thinking like a business owner. Business owners just don't wake up with like, oh, today's Tuesday. What am I going to do today? You already know what you're going to do on Tuesday because you made that decision on Monday, okay? So as you're going through the week and as you build your business, make sure that you're very intentional with your time because a lot of new signing agents have all this excitement, but it fizzles because we're not really on a very organized layout and plan. Does that make sense? So how much time are we setting aside for each day? Talk to me about kind of what the goals are for the week. Okay. Um, rest of today, I'm going to finish the exam. Okay. I'm going to pass. It. Yes. I'm just going to jump right in. Okay. I'm just assuming I know it all because yeah. I made it this far. Um, tomorrow, I have a free day, literally. So I'm going to be at it all day. Good. Watching the course, doing the course all day long. Okay. Good. Um, so, then, and, so, so here's the next few days. Here's what I want you to do. I actually want you to chop up the next few days. 
Remember, as much as I want you to be in the course for eight hours tomorrow, girl, you're not going to be able to remember everything. So just spend a good chunk of two or three hours tomorrow, two to three hours on Wednesday, two to three hours. But here's what you could do. And the same coaching I gave the previous uh, student is make sure you're connecting people in Florida. Girl, we have so many signing agent students in Florida. Make sure you're connecting. Oh, we have literally thousands, like literally. You're, I mean, you're in a great community. <laughs> okay. So in the course, there's the Florida specific link group. Make sure you're not going at this business by yourself. Okay. okay. So if I saw that face, which tells me that, you know, it's not your fault. You missed it. There's just so much information. So remember, repetition is the mother of learning. Don't be afraid to watch the same module two or three times before you move on to the next module. Sometimes students are so, so excited to move on to the next module, they almost forget what's in the previous module. So let me ask you a quick question. You ready? Okay. Have you ever finished a book and was like, uh, what was in chapter one? Yes. Yeah. And that's solely because we can't remember everything. So instead, but the, the, but the important thing to understand is in our chapter one, miss forgetting something might cost you future business. So remember repetition is the mother of learning. Don't be in such a hurry to get to the next chapter as long as more you want to be up for being more into learning. Does that make sense? Yes, so, it does. My, now that I'm hearing what you're telling me, I want your goal actually for tomorrow is to go over everything you already went over. Even okay. if you pass the exam. Okay. All right. Because it's impossible to remember something in the beginning if you're just going fly by, fly by. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Cool. So you got your goals for this week. Talk to me mm -hmm. on next Monday. I want to see you read, but remember, re repetition is the mother of learning. Thank you. All right, girl. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the family. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm very excited. Oh, you're so welcome. I have big plans. I, I have big goals. Remember, so, thank a big you. plan needs to be chopped up to a bunch of little plans, okay? Yes. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. You're so welcome. All right. So let's go. Oh, the one and only Jedediah Young. I love having signing agents on all over the, the, the spectrum. Um, I know Jedediah is doing big things right now. So let's even get Jedediah on. Jedediah, first off, be safe, okay? Hey, I'm pulling over, Mark. Don't all you right, worry. Thank you. Um, How you doing? Well, tell me you're on the way to a signing, picking up docs or something. Oh, uh, Mark, I wish I could be. I, I, I still have an eight to five, so oh, <laughs> I'm, holding, I'm, no. I'm holding down the Ford on my eight to five, and then on the weekends and nights, I'm packed full of signings, man. I'm okay, a good well, signing agent, and I'm rep representing the LSS way, my friend. I love it. I love it. Let's inspire people. You got an eight to five. How much money did you make last month? Part time. $6,400. Say that one more time. $6,400. $6,400 part-time. You heard it. Nights and weekends. And he's traveling right now during his normal business hours for work. So proud of you, man. And yes, I, you know, I will never tell anybody to quit their job. That is a family decision. But you know that you're capable of greatness. And I'm so proud of you, bro. I'm so proud of you. So um, let's talk about some goals for this week. Talk to me. Yeah, man, I just wanted to actually just get on with you, man, and just, you know, talk to you. I, I for me, um, for me, I'm just working all the angles with uh, my directs and um, trying to set aside time where I can actually get and do some uh, marketing. Uh, some goals for me would be to get more direct work. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm working those angles. Okay, you so, know, I just so I heard something. So I heard a couple things, which I love. So Let's talk about the fact that you you have a full time job. Do you have a scheduled lunch break every day? Yes or no? Uh, yeah, it's right now. You know the the right now I've I've been so uh, consumed by a project and so um, not really. Um, so what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do is Thursday mornings. Um, Thursday mornings is my marketing day. Okay. And so as much as I can keep to that, but then meeting schedules come into play. Mark, it's been really hard okay, to, cool. well, this now is what, that I'm, now this that I'm a busy we're signing together. agent. We're going to brainstorm together here and get you an answer, okay? So I just need, need to keep, because to building anything, like you know, and then you're one of my favorite students, and you were like, the, you know, you work and you work and you work. So the key is consistency. You know that, all right, so right now. So my, my, my question is this, right? Even if maybe every single Saturday, 
you and the wife commit to like two or three open houses. What I want to create out of you is consistent marketing, marketing effort, whether that is every Thursday, every Saturday, but at least, I mean, come on, you're an AZ, dude. You can like throw a rock and find an open house, right? So the key to what I want, I want to coach you on here is marketing comes down to consistency. You know, if you said, well, I try my best on Thursdays, we got to stop trying and start doing. So if Thursdays aren't being consistent, then maybe every Saturday is your consistent day. And then you fill in your every other Thursdays with, oh, I got to it. Great. So your Thursdays is cherry on top of the ice cream, but your ice cream is every Saturday you're committed to at least one open house, right? Bring in those amazing, okay. you see what I'm saying? Because when you yeah, start getting, when you build the consistency muscle, then everything else starts kind of falling into place. And so all of a sudden you're like, you know what, well, maybe I can get a little more consistent on my Monday mornings. It's really just kind of getting that push over the edge and really just trying to get that consistency muscle built. That's what's so important for me in this coaching session right now. So if you can commit to every single Saturday, one a day, I think that will build the momentum towards the consistency that I want you and your wife to get. Can we commit to that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. that's a good idea. So to hit up, I do uh, four to five signings on Saturdays, so I'm probably, yes, going to at least open every Saturday. Okay. Cool, I love it. And again, it's just a matter of time blocking. You got to get up at 8 a.m., dude, get up at 8 a.m. Find somewhere in Arizona that's an 8 a.m. Like your job is to scour the greater Phoenix area and just be like, look, I'm going to it. It doesn't matter to me if it's an hour away. I'm going to wake up at 7 to get there at 8. It's about building the consistency muscles, the bigger coaching here. If the bigger coaching yeah. than going to an open house is building the consistent effort of going to the open house. Because yeah. hopefully there'll be a point you're like, man, Mark, I'm running around all over Phoenix trying to go to an 8 a.m. That's not the jam. And then you'll figure out another place in your schedule where you can push in the marketing. Does that make sense? So yeah. in the beginning, though, I want you to commit. There is 200 notaries. There'll be probably 4,000 who watch this by the end. Commit to everybody one open house every single weekend, whether that is Saturday or Sunday. Can we commit to that? Absolutely. All no right, problem. let's go, babe. <laughs> $6,500 bar time. I want everybody to be inspired by Jedediah and his wife, who's just as big of a hustler. I'm so excited for you guys. Out of curiosity, on the way out, how much money did the family make as LSAs last month? $10,000. <laughs> The Jedediah family made $10,000 in signing agent income. I mean, honestly, man, I'm proud of you. Keep building, stay consistent, and I'll see you next Monday. Hey, man, it was good seeing you. You take care. Thanks you thanks for everything, Mark. You, you've, you've given me the tools. All I've had to do is put in the effort, and you know I put in the effort. So to all of you out there that – that, that just put in the effort. Trust me. Trust me. I only work nights and weekends and I doubled my take home salary of my eight to five. You can do it too. You are making double as a signing agent what you are in your eight to five. Did I hear that right? Yes. Wow. Congratulations. Look, honestly, I'm just the coach. The players make the plays, man. I can't take any credit for your tenacity, your effort. I, I hope I say it enough. I'm very, very proud of you. And I know you and your wife will be the next signing agent power LSS couple. No doubt in my mind, but patience and consistency. I'll talk to you soon, brother. Take care, Mark. Right, Thanks. Man. Did you hear Bye -bye. that? I mean, if you guys been watching, um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you've been watching the episodes of good, uh, of goal setting Monday, you know, Jedediah has been here from almost day one. It has been a slow but sure process. Trust the system. Work the system. Effort builds businesses, man. Let's go. So proud of him. All right, who is next? Let's get someone else on here. Uh, let's try. I'm going to try to get Kathy Videla one more time. Kathy, I got one more time in me, girl. Let's see who else I can get up here. Um, oh, my gosh. We have the one and only Kathy. But first off, Kathy, you looking good with that new haircut, girl. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh thank my you. gosh. Okay, so for some that don't know, this is uh, LSS royalty here. She is a loan signing system ambassador in the state of New Jersey, a six-figure signing agent. Her and her husband make over twenty thousand dollars a month. And why she's so successful? Because she's always the best student here on a goal setting Monday. Uh, to talk about her business. I want everyone to be inspired by her. Uh, Kathy, real quick, 
if you can build this business, can anybody build this business? Oh, absolutely. Definitely. And I had no background in real estate or mortgage or anything like that. I knew nothing, took your course, and here I am now. I love it. Okay, so this is Goal Setting Monday, girl. Talk to me. What are some goals for the Vidal's? I guess it's more of a question. Okay. Motivation. I mean, yes, Dave and I motivate each other. We get it. But, like, the weather is getting really nice now. <laughs> and, you know, you're inside if you're not at a closing. And, I mean, usually going back, looking at old videos, things like that, that, that is motivating. That, that, that does keep us going. But the weather is really nice right now. Well, look, it's a, this is a great question, right? People always ask me, how do I stay so motivated? You know, loan signing system is big. My signing service is big. How do I keep And, and the answer to you, this is a great conversation. I love Goal Setting Mondays because it's all over the spectrum. I mean, Kathy's making $10,000 a month in her sleep, and she's finding it difficult to stay inspired or do it every single month. And, and here's how I do it, right? You know, I have a bigger goal and plan. So what my, my job is to focus on what are my goals and my family goals, right? I have a goal that I've set for every step of the way. How, what, how big I want my business at 45, how big I want my business at 50. Do I even want to be working at 50? Do I want to be working at 55? So I know in order to hit my bigger goals that this is the path I have to take. So what inspires me is the goals and plans that I have for loan signing system, what I have planned for the LSS, and that's what keeps me motivated every day. So I kind of reverse engineer my bigger goals. You know I teach you guys to set goals because your goals should drive your actions. And by the way, Kathy, having a goal of having an $8,000 a month business and only working three days a week, that's a great goal. Everybody's goal is different. So whatever your goal is, it should dictate what your action plan is. So if you and Dave are like, you know what, 20 grand a month is great. But you know what? Maybe we should do 15. And so me and you can spend Friday and Saturdays together as a, as a couple. So the point, the coaching I want to give you is you need to really have a very clear cut goal. But it sounds like to me and you and Dave are just kind of running with your head around and not having a direction. So direction keeps you inspired. Direction helps you decide what to do today, next month, next year. And I think you and Dave need to have a very clear cut picture of what those goals are. And I'm not talking about next month or next year, by the way. I'm talking two years, five years, 10 years out, because I have those goals set, right? I know I have a very specific goal in what I want to be doing when I'm 50. I'm 43. And so in order to get to my goal at 50, I know what effort I need to get here because my goal here is very crystal clear to me. Does that make sense? Yes. And so knowing what I got to do to get to that goal drives my actions today and it will drive my actions for the next seven years of my life. And then at 50, I have this monster goal that I want to hit. And so then I take each year behind. So look, I'm 43. What do I want my business to look like by 45? I have specific goals. And so every day I'm working toward those goals because I have a huge one at 50 I want to hit. And that's what keeps me inspired. Like, look, I'm going to be honest with you, girl. I don't want to be working 18 hour days for the rest of my career, but I know in order to get to my goals, this is what I have to do. And that's what drives me every day when I wake up. I tell my wife, look, 50, 50, I'm going to 50. I'm going, I got a big goal at 50. And so I would say that's what you and Dave should do. Now, I'll end with this, Kath. Having a part-time business that makes eight grand a month, that's a good goal. So don't let the pressures of someone like me who's crazy have these goals inspire your goals, but the inspiration should be is have a goal. Mm -hmm. And then work backwards from that goal. Does that make sense? So, yes. you know, we want, we want X amount here. We want passive income now. You know, I think me and you've talked about, you should have in your own signing service. Creating a business that creates passive income, I believe should be a goal for everybody. And you've built a business big enough, in my opinion, we're farming out appointments and taking money from the notaries and helping their families and making money for your family is a win-win, you know? And so I've built a signing service like, you know, I think the biggest win of my signing service isn't the passive income that I make. It's the money that I give to families of the notaries who have money because of the business I've built. So I choose to look at my, my signing service, not only as passive income, but as the impact that I'm making on other people's families, right? When a notary accepts my job, I go, you know what? I've helped that family do whatever they need to do financially because of the $100, $110 that I give them. 
And in return, I get passive income, right? And so I believe, Kathy, that you are ready for it, right? Is there going to take a little bit of your head down to build it? Yes. But if you put your head down for the next 12 months, look up and you're like, wow, me and Dave are making five grand a month, not doing anything. But again, it's kind of the question on what your guys' goals are. So just have a clear cut goal, reverse engineer it. Does that make sense? Totally. So speaking of goal setting Mondays, have a conversation with Dave by the end of the week and write this out, girl. You know, in conference, I taught you about writing things down, right? Write down, where do we see ourselves in 12 months? Where do we want to see ourselves in five years? And then figure out how much effort you need to do and what action plans you need to take to get to that goal. Because a lot of you ambassadors are just moving, 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 but you're moving directionless. Like it's like, okay, Mark, I'm making a ton of money, but why are you making a ton of money? You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and so I think that if you guys really step back and be like, okay, we're making a ton of money, but like, you know, maybe you wanted some investment properties. And so, you know, by in five years, we want to have five investment properties. Then, you know, each investment property is going to cost you $40,000 to put down. So now you need, you know, five, five homes times $40,000 is 200 grand. So now you and Dave are busting your tail to make 200 grand to put down on five homes over the next five years because you want passive income in the next five years. Does that make sense? But you can't have this idea of passive income if you're not creating goals for you. And then what will help motivate you working hard today is you're like, Dave, okay, we want five homes in five years. So you know what, dude, we're all going to bust our tail because we want, you know, three or $4,000 in passive income from rentals. We want three or $4,000 a month in passive income from our signing service. And now you guys have 8,000 bucks a month in passive income because you have as clear intentional set goals today to get to where you want. And that will help drive your motivation, inspiring, even during bad weather. You know what I mean? So um, wow, what a great conversation to have in front of the whole uh, signing agent community because, <laughs> you know, we're all in different parts of our journey. You're on, the, you're on the tail end of Mark. I've built a six-figure business. Now what? And the now what is becoming crystal clear on the now what? And I think the problem is you're just not crystal clear on it. You know what I mean? You're not crystal clear on maybe some of your retirement goals or passive income goals or, you know, just maybe traveling goals. You know, like you, maybe your passion is to travel. It's okay. Well, you know, we don't want to travel. I only want to travel first class, right? And so, you know, we want to make $10,000 for a trip to Italy. So, but now working is inspiring because now you're working towards a goal, which may be seeing Italy first class for the first time. You know what I mean? So, but to answer your question, when you first got on specific goals is what keeps you inspired. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming we're going to be friends and colleagues for a lot, forever, hopefully. My point is you'll see where I'm at at 50. I have clear cut goals on where I'm gonna be in seven years. And then you're like, Mark, I get why you work so hard. And it's because I have a crystal clear plan of where I'm gonna be and what I'm gonna do. I want you and Dave to have the same one. I hear you. Cool. Yep, we're gonna have to have a talk now. Let's get it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Well, what an amazing conversation. Um, proud of you, girl. Keep inspiring everybody out in Jersey. They can do the same thing. Thank you, Mark. All Good right. Bye. Wow. Bye. What an amazing conversation. You know, I think that conversation could be whittled down to no matter where you are in your signing agent process. If you're a brand new signing agent, who's part time? What are your goals for part time income? And then your part time income goals will determine how hard you have to work to get to it. it happens a lot of times is we start getting directionless. And then when we're directionless, we become uh, less inspired and less motivated to do work every single day. So no matter where you are, you are in your journey. Maybe you are Kathy as Kathy is so blessed. She has a six figure business and now she's kind of like, what's next? And the problem is because she doesn't have what's next defined is the reason she's kind of working a little bit uninspired. So make sure that every step of your journey, it's clearly defined on where you want to be, what you want to go. What an incredible conversation. Goals drives your behaviors. Make sure you have clear cut goals on every part of this journey, including what you're gonna do when you make six figures. The crazy part is she made six figures and she's like, now what? See, I don't have the now what? I know exactly what I'm gonna do when my business gets this big. Every single step of the way should be ironed out by you, even when you are making six figures and seven figures. You heard me right. You can make seven figures. Let's go. All right, man. Uh, let's do this again with 
I think we have time for two more people. Um, let's get uh, Izzy, I think, is the gentleman's name. I do not know. You're like this small on my screen. Um, but wow, I love that conversation about goals. Oh, my man, what's going on, brother? Hey, Mark, how you doing? I do. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Tell everybody where you're from, uh, your name, and, and let's get this combo started. My name is Izell Brown. Uh, I'm from I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and I actually got out of the military back in uh, back in June, and uh, and I decided to become a full time uh, loan signing agent while I go to school. Hey, first off, thank you for your service, bro. It's my pleasure. Thank you very very much. Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so where are we in our journey, man? I mean, are you an LSS student? Are you a brand new notary? I mean, have you got the course? I mean, talk to me. Where are we on this process? So I've, I've purchased the course. I have everything set up. Like Love I have it. my I have my E and O and and uh, my certification and all that uh, and my EIN. I'm all set up. My issue is that I have been procrastinating a lot yes. with my business, and I haven't. I've only signed up with maybe maybe uh, 10 signing services mm -hmm. and I have marketed a little bit, but it seems a little difficult here in Jacksonville to actually market. Um, well, let me tell you a couple of things. First off, it's not some of our best students are in Jacksonville. I mean, shoot, we have so right. many students in Jacksonville crushing it. You know, let me talk about something you hit on. I hope everybody hears me on this. You know, people, uh, 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 you said the word procrastination. Mm -hmm. So let me coach you a little bit on procrastination. A lot of people think people procrastinate because they're lazy. Not true. I mean, I want you to let this receive what I'm about to coach you on. Okay. Most people procrastinate because they're avoiding the stress or fear of what happens when they accomplish it. So you know that if I have to go market, that's going to make me step out of my comfort zone. So guess what you do? You procrastinate. So procrastination is usually us avoiding getting out of our comfort zone. It's avoiding the fear that we know we have to deal with in order to grow. So the only reason you, uh, most people procrastinate, not the only, is because they're avoiding something they know they have to go through. So I want you to, does that, does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. Because like, look, I, dude, I get stepping out of your comfort zone and walking into an open house is not easy. I get it. I understand that calling up a signing service and not knowing who's on the line gets a little worrisome. But if understanding that we are trying to procrastinate just to avoid it, usually is a moment of like, look, I can't get better at something until I do that something. Mm. Okay? So I want you to just have a moment with yourself of, look, the only reason I'm not getting business in Jacksonville is because I've not told enough people I'm a signing agent. See, this business is easy. The signing agent who tells the most people that they're a signing agent makes the most money. But there's a little bit of stress involved in that. There's a little bit of anxiety. There's a little bit of, I got to step out of my comfort zone. You know what I mean by that? Is this resonating a little bit? Yes. Okay. And so look, man, look, I'm going to be honest with you. You got to push through your fear. You have to ask yourself, why did I choose to become a signing agent? You know what, Mark? I chose to become a signing agent because I want to start making money. Cool. Then your money is on the other side of introducing yourself to realtors. Money's on the other side of walking into that title company in Jacksonville. Money's on the other side of walking into the open house. That makes sense. <laughs> so let me give you a little bit of coaching on the way out, okay? Mm -hmm. The biggest feedback that I've got over the years, man, on being a signing agent, on getting their business to the next level, is Mark, I don't feel ready. I don't feel ready to take my first signing. I don't feel ready to talk to my best friend who's a real estate agent. I don't feel ready to walk into that title office where nobody knows me. I don't feel ready. Can you kind of relate to that? Completely. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> you know why you don't feel ready? Why? Because ready isn't a feeling. You don't, we, we feel mad. We feel angry. Ready isn't an emotion. Ready is a moment. Ready is a decision. It's not a feeling. Mm. Does that make sense? Yes. You never feel ready because ready isn't feeling. So I ask you, are you ready to make the decision to build your business? Yes. Yes, that's what ready is. See, ready is a moment. Ready is a decision. Mark, I am ready to get out of my comfort zone. 
I am ready to tell people I'm a signing agent. I am ready to let the world know, Jacksonville know, that for the notary signing agent needs, I am the man. Ready is not a feeling. You will always sit around and always wait to feel ready. But the reason you're waiting to feel ready because ready is not a feeling. Did that hit? Mm, yes. That makes sense? Ready's a moment, baby. Ready's a decision that, look, I am good. Are you good? I am good. I know you're good. That's my point, dog. <laughs> so I need you to start letting people know you're good. Okay. Right? Right? Yeah, right? Like, right. it's like this. It's like, you know when you just saw a movie and you get out of your movie and you like call your boys, you're like, dude, you gotta go see this movie, right? Mm -hmm. It's because you know the movie was good, right? Right. That's how I need you to feel about your business. Like, you know you're good. That's why you wanna tell a title officer, I need to be your signing agent. You need to be the good movie and not be afraid to tell people how good you are. I see what you did there and I like that. <laughs> All right, all right, because yeah. you're the man. I know you're the man, okay? I need you to know that you're the man. Right. And everybody watching, I need to know that you're the woman. You can do this business. I'm going to end with this. Are you ready? Yes. We watch people sign their name on loan documents. Like, it's not hard what we do. Right. What we do is very important to the real estate industry. But what we actually do collecting signatures is in the heart. I am not any better than you at watching someone sign their name a hundred times. Mm. I'm not, right? I'm not any better than you, right? Right. I mean, come on. I mean, anybody here can Anyone watch can someone sign. That's my point, right? Right. But the difference is I believe in myself, man. I tell everybody I need to be your signing agent because I know I'm good. I need you to know you're good. And I know you know you're good, but it's time that everyone else from Jacksonville does. Because remember, dude, the person who makes the most money just tells the most people. Mm. Okay. That's it. You yeah, know, that's, that's it. I haven't been doing, so yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, look, I want you to reach out to some of your fellow LSS students. We got Calvin Darville in Florida. We got Melina Point Mayor. We got we have so many people, Lauren Renee, Tracy Archer, all over the place. Okay. The only difference between Calvin Darville and you is Calvin Darville told every single person in Tampa that he's a signing agent. Guess what? He makes $50,000 a month. Not because he's better than you. Does that make sense? It does. He's not better than you. He's just made a decision that no one can hire me if I don't tell them I'm a signing agent. Okay. Okay? You got the tools. You got the script. Right. right? Just print out that script, memorize the script, make the script yours. You literally gave us everything, you're right. <laughs> and now, the, now it's up to you to tell everyone in, in, in Jacksonville that you got this business. Because this business is easy. The person who tells the most people their signing agent makes the most money. That's it. Build the business from here. That's your heart. Care about other people. Be passionate. Want to do a good job. And everyone's going to want to work with you, man. So I'm going to end with thank you for your service. You've served our country. You're amazing for that, man. Look, I'll be honest with you. I would also tell people that you are a veteran. People want to help veterans, right? I mean, look, mm -hmm. I'm thankful for your service. Right. I'm sure the person at the title companies thank you for your service. So just be like, look, I'm a military veteran looking to, be a, looking to serve you on your signing agent needs. The way I dedicated myself to our country, I'm going to do that for you and your business. Who can turn right. that down, man? All right, all right. <laughs> Drop okay, the mic and let's go, baby. <laughs> all Thank right, you, and we need to go out. So this is Goal Setting Monday, right? This is Goal Setting yeah. Monday. So yeah. while the commitment from you with 200 signing agents on right now and maybe 4,000 watching this later, you're going to tell at least one title company this week that you are a signing agent and a darn good one. Yes, I'll commit to that. All right. Hit me up in my DMs. Let me know how that went. I'm rooting for you, man. Remember, success is on the other side of fear. Procrastination is on the other side of recognizing the only reason I'm procrastinating is because I'm fearful to do this. If you mentally let yourself know, I got this, you're going to help people in your area, man. That's the most important thing. Thank you, Mark. All right, go build a business, baby. Let's go.
All right, man. Take care. Go get them. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap up. Remember, this business is easy. Believe in you. Because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. We watch people sign their name on their loan paperwork. That is it. Don't overthink what we do. I know you're amazing. I need you to know it. I end every single one with this, and I'm going to say it again. I believe in you, but I just can't believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Let's go.